Who remembers Superman? Superman was incredible. Able to circumnavigate the Earth multiple times in a second, able to fly, possessing superhuman strength and even X-ray vision. Superman had just one weakness. Kryptonite. If you could manage to get a chunk of this crystal from his native world close enough to him, Superman lost all of these incredible powers and became weaker and more frail than an average human being. Now, today's gospel is troubling. It sounds kind of threatening. If we fail to forgive our brothers and sisters, we will be handed over to be tortured. But I don't think that Jesus is threatening us with some outside source of torture. I think he's simply diagnosing the way we naturally are. When we carry grudges around, when we insist upon withholding forgiveness, it's like kryptonite. God has made us to have supernatural powers. God has given us gifts and powers that go beyond our wildest imagination. But when we hold on to hurt, when we hold on to anger, when we hold on to a sense of being victims, it might give us a sense of power over those whom we believe have hurt us. But the fact is the reverse holds true. It's kryptonite. It keeps us down. It makes us weak. It can even compromise our physical health. Jesus isn't threatening us today. He's encouraging us. He's telling us, shed that burden. Lay down that anger. Lay down that grudge. Unburden yourself of that crushing weight you carry with you everywhere you go. Now, it's easier said than done. Sometimes it takes much more than thought, much more than talk. We may have to engage all kinds of physical and metaphysical tools to help us. But those tools are out there, my friends. And if we use them, we can forgive. And when we lay down those burdens, we realize that kryptonite has departed from us. And once again, we are the supermen and the superwomen that God created us to be.